Oliver's Papa here on a Saturday, still morning, just barely into the afternoon. I just got done with my son. Uh, first soccer practice, uh, three and a half year old, neurodiverse, uh, ASD level two child, who um, he might see this one day. So let me start off with, uh, I'm very proud of, 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 of how he did. Um, it was a new experience to him. Uh, the important thing is that he enjoyed himself and he burned off a lot of energy. Uh, there was very little participation that will come later, but Oliver, you know, if you're, uh, if you're, you know, this is years from now and you stumble on this on the internet, let uh, you know that your, your, your papa was very proud of you. So was mommy. Everybody thought you did a great job and uh, all good things take time to build. The best things take time to build. And you're getting built brick by brick. Okay? You'll be fine. Uh, I was proud and I'm glad that you had a good time. You're in the back seat eating donuts right now. Okay? Life is not terrible. When you're three years old and you got to run around outside for a couple of hours and then you're in the back seat of a warm car headed home eating donuts. That's about the best that life uh, has to offer sometimes. Okay, the thrust of the video is that if you're a parent and you, you haven't yet uh, had the chance to experience what I have and, and you're the parent of a neurodiverse child, these things, especially the first time, the first times of anything are sobering and sometimes, uh, I don't want to say heartbreaking, there's no, there's no reason to make it any any more challenging than it already is by by throwing even more language at it um it's sobering because you're seeing it's it's one of those times when you're seeing where your where your child is compared to his peers or her peers and uh the, you know those are those are moments of uh you know uh being the, the, you're reminded and uh, of what you're up against and you can either look at it in two ways you can say well look at how terrible and sad this is he's not he's not w with you know he's not at the same level of his peers will he ever be you can do that or you can say okay fuck it i know language i know now you can say fuck it you know what uh i said to the coach give me a please give me a list of yeah, of everything that we did today here, and I'll work on it this week with him. Now, yeah, Oliver's capable of great things, and, and, and he does all kinds of things, you know, routines. Oh, my gosh, what is that? Is that something good? That's something good, yeah. Um, but each one of them, it takes months and months, you know. It's like making bricks with straw. It takes time, and uh, but he gets there. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm mean, definitely not gonna sit there and, and 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 moan and feel defeated. He didn't participate in one exercise. Um, he did smile the whole time, ran around the field, which he, he loves to do anyway. But he went by almost every child that was there, and did his thing where he gets like right up in you know like. Dollar, but it's a personal space, you know. But he was checking everybody out, and he ran around, and uh, he burned some energy. He got some fresh air, and you did a good job today. And uh, and we got stuff to do all week now. We're gonna practice soccer, practice the exercises, and and see how it goes. You'll be all right. And hey, by next year, maybe maybe next by next year. You'll be able to participate a little bit more, uh, you know, interact a little bit more, have more of a, participate more in, in everything that was being done. But yeah, it's one of those moments where you have to make a decision. Are you going to be, uh, are you going to be uh, defeated 
and sad. Oh my God, you know, and I mean, I could have very easily, because there was a couple moments where I was looking and I had the, the whole thing in, in my frame, in frame. And I'm like, it's one of those things. It's, it's a reminder. It's like, hey, you know, hey, by the way, Oliver's Papa, guess what? Take a look at that. Remember that? Yeah. Well, this is where you are. It is what it is. And you, uh, you make the best of it and you encourage your child and you protect your child and, uh, you know, everybody, you know, everybody's going to be just fine. But it was one of those moments, uh, again, like where it's kind of like you get kicked in the balls. You're like, oh, oh, shit. You know, you don't even say, oh. You know, you're just reminded. It's a reminder. And, uh, but what I see in the back seat, at least now until he gets impatient, is a kid that's, you know, got his exercise. He's got his tablet. He's been having some donuts. And life is good. And that's what matters. Anyway, uh, we're going to get him home. All right, Bubba. Uh, it's Oliver's Papa here. Support your kids. Uh, put your put your emotions in check. Don't project your feelings onto the situation, uh, and just hope for the best. Oliver's Papa, wishing you a good day. Take care. Bye.